Danitor finds purse behind school locker before learning the unsettling reality. From September through June of each year, school buildings around the country are packed full of students. Hoover Middle School in North Canton, Ohio, was no exception to that rule. Running a school, however, takes plenty of work behind the scenes. While everyone knows that teachers do a great deal for their students every day, custodians don't always receive the same credit. One of those underappreciated workers was Chaz Pyle. In May 2019, though, he had a specific task, this would go beyond simply sweeping the floors or changing some light bulbs. As any student can tell you, a locker is an essential part of everyone's day. This time, however, Hoover Middle School's lockers needed a little bit of TLC. Thankfully, Chaz was on the case. In one stretch of hallway, there was a particular bank of lockers. The trim, which connected the metal to the wall, had somehow come loose. It needed to be reattached. So began a grand adventure. Nothing was seriously broken, so Chaz didn't think it would be a big job. He sized up the situation and got to work, without breaking a sweat, he had popped the offending piece of metal loose. Now that the trim was completely off, the custodian simply needed to reattach it and get on with his responsibilities. Something, however, caught his eye and stopped him in his tracks. In the dusty space between the locker and wall, there was something red sitting on the floor. While he wasn't sure what he had spotted, Chaz fished it out from the crevice. It was a red purse. Clearly, some student had lost her beloved bag and its contents behind that piece of metal locker trim. Surely, Chaz thought, she would want her possessions back. Well, when something goes wrong in a school, what happens? You head to the office. Chaz picked up his newfound purse and did just that. They were going to get to the bottom of this. While it usually isn't okay to rummage through someone's purse, the school staff decided that this was a special circumstance. They slowly opened the zipper, hoping to find a clue of the owner's identity. Inside the purse, they found several items that belonged to Patty Rumfola. As they dug deeper, though, they encountered a problem. It wouldn't be easy to return this purse after all. Patty wasn't a current student. Or someone who had been in the building recently. She graduated from Hoover High School in 1960, her purse had been lost for nearly 60 years. Well, Patty hadn't been a student for quite some time, her purse was chock full of stuff. It didn't have a clue to her whereabouts, but it did provide a glimpse into her former life and the things she held dear. First and foremost, there were plenty of school supplies. Patty definitely made sure that she was prepared for class. There was also some makeup and a single stick of beech nut chewing gum. That wasn't all Patty was carrying, though. The purse also contained some faded baseball and football schedules and a couple of old ticket stubs. She definitely had plenty of school spirit. With the help of Facebook, the school tried to track down Patty. Eventually, though, they hit an unfortunate dead end. She had passed away 2013 at age 71. There was one silver lining, however. Patty had five children, so the school sent them the purse. While it helped them see a side of their mother they never knew, the kids also found something else in the bag. Within the purse, there was a faded teal wallet containing a few coins. While currency might have changed over the years, good luck buying anything for a penny, they still provided an opportunity. Those coins, which were tarnished with time, became a prized possession. Each of her five children kept one of the wheat pennies as a token of remembrance of their mom, the school explained in a Facebook post. 